The network analysis panel has several sections, network visualization, the interactions table below, and the advanced filtering section to the right. The network visualization offers several different layouts, each of which is optimized to answer a different biological question. The subnetworks layout will highlight interconnected subgroups of genes. The mechanisms layout builds the networks with the fewest edges necessary to describe the network connectivity. In the hub gene layout, nodes with the largest number of incoming edges are found at the center, and those with the fewest are on the periphery. The gatekeepers layout allows you to find nodes with high betweenness, those that act as conduits between highly interconnected clusters. The interactions layout allows you to ask if there are more edges between genes with large expression changes from your experiment. Nodes are arranged by absolute value of log fold change with the largest at 12 o'clock. The regulators layout emphasizes regulatory interactions between nodes. If you have a saved network, you will find it in the final layout tab. For any layout, you can adjust additional network settings such as hiding isolated nodes that have no edges, highlighting coherent cascades where regulatory interactions agree with the fold change of both involved nodes, and exposing the legend. Network visualizations can be saved with all settings and selections for additional analysis later, and the network itself may be exported, either as an image or for use in other network software. You may specify which types of edges you want to include in your network using the checkboxes underneath the Build Network button. The first checkbox, labeled Regulatory Interactions Only, selects only edges that have an effect. Effects are noted in the Interactions table below. You can also add or remove edges by decreasing or increasing the minimum confidence level for evidence that supports each edge. Select any edge to view its evidence in the interactions table below. Expanding that row will reveal more details, including any relevant literature with supporting evidence for the interaction. Congruous to the table of edges, there's also a table of nodes to the right of the visualization panel. Mousing over any row in the table will highlight that node and its direct neighbors. Clicking the eye icon will hide that node. You may sort the table by any column, including visibility status, fold change and p-value for genes, and three different connectivity metrics. If there are 50 or fewer nodes in your network and relatively few interactions, you may want to include intermediate genes to discover the linking mechanism. This functionality may be especially useful when connecting genes of interest to important biological processes, molecular functions, cellular components, or chemicals. You must click Build Network for any of the changes in this section to take effect.